Hi, second graders. Today you are going to be writing your own picture problems. Delivery at the store. It's time to restock the shelves. The delivery truck has arrived. What do you notice and what do you wonder about the store and their shelves or what's in the delivery truck? I notice that the beach balls are packed in packs of 100, 10, and 1s. I can see that our, there are some beach balls at the store already on the shelves, and there are some waiting to be delivered in the delivery truck. I wonder how many balls there are altogether. I also wonder how many more balls are in the delivery truck than are at the store. Hmm. What questions work? We're going to mark the questions that are solvable with the check mark. So some of these questions that the student came up with are not solvable. So let's see which ones are solvable. Number one, the store has 200 beach balls total. Some are on the shelves, some are on the truck, and some are in storage. How many are in storage? Well, would we be able to solve this story problem? Yes, we would, because we know how many are on the shelves, how many are in the truck. So whatever is left over must be in storage, but all together they would have to equal 200. This is solvable. Question two, how much do 55 beach balls cost? Hmm. Do you see anywhere on this page where it tells us how much a beach ball costs? No, we don't know how much a beach ball costs, so we would not be able to solve this problem. We don't have all of the necessary information. Let's read question number three. How many beach balls are already on the shelf? Do we have that information, second graders? Yes, we do. We could count and add up the number of tens and ones to find how many beach balls there are total on the shelf. And lastly, question number four. Yesterday, the shelf had 40 beach balls. A customer bought some. How many did they buy? Is this question solvable with the information we have? We can see there are 37 beach balls on the shelves. If yesterday there were 40 and now there's 37, how many did the customer buy? Do we have enough information to solve that question? Yes, we do. So numbers one, three, and four are solvable. Question number two was not solvable because we do not know how much a beach ball costs. Now let's look at this next picture. This has a picture showing the items that are for sale on the shelf, and the items on the table are listed as already sold. What do you notice and what do you wonder about the items in this picture? Well, second graders, I notice that in these shelves there are yo-yos, beach balls, and dolls. So it is not just one item or one toy. There's different types of toys. I also still notice that each of the toys are packaged in hundreds, tens, or ones. A few questions I wonder about are how many toys there are total for sale plus those that have already been sold. I wonder how many more beach balls there are than dolls. I wonder how many toys are for sale compared to how many toys have already been sold. You can come up with lots of different story problems about the information in this picture. But what questions work? We will mark the questions that are solvable with a check mark. Question number one. How much money did the store make by selling the items on the table? 
Here are the items that have already been sold. The question asks, how much money did the store make? Do we know how much those items are worth or how much they cost? No. Nowhere on this page does it tell us how much these items are how much these items cost. This would not be a solvable problem. Let's read question number two. How many more yo-yos are on the table than on the shelf? So comparing the number of yo-yos on the shelf to the number of yo-yos on the table. What is the difference between these two amounts? Would you be able to solve that second graders with the information we have? Yes, you would. This question is solvable. Question number three. How many more dolls were sold than beach balls? So how many more dolls were sold than beach balls? There are 20 dolls that were sold and five beach balls were sold. Do we have enough information to figure out how many more dolls than beach balls? Yes, we do. This is solvable. Question four. How many total items does the store still have for sale? So this question is asking us how many total toys are for sale on the shelf? Can we figure that out with the information on the page? You bet. You would just have to add up all of the hundreds, tens, and ones. So for this picture, questions two, three, and four are solvable with the information. Question number one is not solvable. So let's think about it. What makes a good picture word problem? Good picture word problems have the information we need to solve. They require us to think. We can use addition or subtraction. They're different from what we've seen before. Is it okay if some of the story problems are ones we haven't thought of or practiced? Of course. Maybe some are more challenging than others, and that is okay. Good picture problems also use information from the picture. Not so good picture word problems are impossible to solve. So take a look at this list, second graders. In a few moments, you will be asked to write your own picture word problem. So make sure that your picture word problem is not impossible to solve. Just to make sure, after you write your story problem, try to solve it to make sure that it is solvable. So on the next slide, you will choose one of the two slides, either one that has a delivery truck or one that has items that are for sale and ones that are sold. Type your name in the toy store name. Then drag the toys to create your story picture. I want you to create two possible questions in the boxes and then place a star on your favorite question that you came up with. So here is option number one. You could choose to use this picture as your picture word problem. You will drag the toys to the store and delivery truck to create a story. You can choose to either stick with just one type of toy or if you want to use different or multiple types of toys, you can. Remember to come up with two different story problems that would match your picture. Write your problems and then try to solve them on your own. Put a star next to the one that is your favorite. You could also instead choose this story picture, items that are for sale and items that have already been sold. Click and drag the toys to the for sale shelf and the sold table to create your story problem. Then write two possible story problems that would match this picture. Put a star next to the one that is your favorite. 